it's cold outside But the fire keeps us warm We can't spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today is vlog December day 8. It's been more than a week that I've been doing these daily vlogs these little bits of my life for the month of December, something that I wanted to try out. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but this is also for my personal achievement, I guess you can call it. Anyway, I'm here. I'm just picking up my youngest one and uh, I just witnessed a squirrel being run over. <laughs> it was literally, it ran right across the street as a car was passing by. It made it just halfway. And then at the last second, it kind of, turned around and its head got crushed. Not something that you want to hear at the beginning of this video, but I just wanted to share with you guys uh, just something unfortunate for that poor little squirrel. Now I'm just waiting in the car. My oldest daughter is picking up my little one, so that's kind of how I save some time. And what I have planned for today is, number one, I have to figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. I didn't take out any meat out of the freezer, so everything is solid, frozen, and I can't use the meat in the freezer. So we're going to do a quick, uh, I guess, trip to the store. It's just going to be just enough for our dinner. And then I still have not bought two items for my family for our New Year's. So I think I'm going to head to Target there. I can do two birds and one stone and get my dinner and also get those two gifts that I need. Hey guys, I just witnessed a squirrel being killed. Oh. Isn't that kind of sad? Oh, oh. oh got run over again? <laughs> oh my, if this was in my size, I would literally wear this sock. <laughs> but I know I don't celebrate Christmas, but it is still nice to look at the decorations for holidays. In the back of the store, I found an end cap that had several candles on sale. The cheapest one I found was a $3 candle. Yes, it's still from Thanksgiving, but the scent was still pretty strong. And original price was $10. Now this little mini waffle of maker, yes, there's a droid all in it, but it's 50% off. It's actually $6 and original price was $12. I find myself browsing through the hearth and hand section for quite some time. I love the modern yet warm feeling of all the designs. You can incorporate these designs into your own home. And the color of this KitchenAid stand mixer is beautiful. My favorite color is like a foresty emerald green. And this just does it for me. I noticed there's a lot of green this year in the design. She incorporates it with the wood, which is a very warm feeling. And you can basically put it into any home and it will fit right in. Even though I already have a stand mixer, the color is really calling to me. Now, the $4.49 is not the price of the hand mixer, but the price of the electric stand mixer. Looking at these cups, it makes me want to make a hot cup of warm cocoa. I love the smooth design of the cup and especially that dark foresty green color. Here's that deep foresty green KitchenAid stand mixer on display. It's so beautiful and matte. I really love it, but it has a hefty price at $500. My Keurig at home is on its last leg, so I am on the lookout for a new Keurig. This is the one I have my eye on. It is another pretty price of $189, but I do love the color. It would match well with some of my appliances at home. It's really so hard not to stop by the kitchen section at Target. They really have a wide variety of items. Even though I have my own baking pans at home, I still like to look to see what they have. And I have enough cutting boards. Thank you, Costco. But it doesn't hurt to look around and see what they have on sale. Recently, I bought a new set of kitchen knives. Again, thank you, Costco. But this black and gold knife set really calls out to me. It's from Farberware, so it might not be top quality, but I was still interested in knowing the price. So finally, I found a scanner. And when I scanned it, I was pretty surprised of how much it costs. It's very affordable. $20 is the perfect gift for yourself or for another person. When you say you're going to Target for only one thing, expect to come back for a few more items. And yes, my daughter needed a new boot, so I felt very justified looking through the shoes. Looking for like a vinyl or leather type material, and good thing for my wallet, I didn't find it, so that saved me money for today. 
And of course, we're going to find toys to look at. These toys look like from Thanksgiving sale, but without the Thanksgiving sale prices. But look how cute this is. This is our generation ice cream truck. My daughter has loved this for some time, but we never actually bought it. I found some nice shirts for my nephew and for my husband. They have a pretty good selection. This is one of the shirts. I love the color. It says winning streets. The color is perfect, but I don't think either my husband or my nephew would like this lettering on the shirt. This is a nice color as well. I don't think they would like the cheers. This is nice. This might be one of them. If you put this in the dryer though, um, this is eventually gonna crack. So um, if I were to wash this, I would just hang it afterwards. And this girl be right there. This is the guy's section and that's pink. <laughs> what size is that? It's, uh, um, it's big. Oh no, actually it would fit you. It's a small look, yeah. It would fit you, you want it? I like it, yes. <laughs> All right, put that in the cart and we'll get that for you. I'm supposed to be looking for gifts for my nephew and my brother-in-law. Not for you, little one. <laughs> Finding gifts for other people besides my family is not a strong suit. So this is the perfect gift for them, I think. And uh, because, you know, if I pick a shirt they might not like, then, you know, that's kind of a waste. But this is something that they're definitely gonna need. Figured out what we're gonna have for dinner. Well, actually, my son figured out what we're gonna have for dinner. He wants to have um, homemade chili. So the beef that they have in the back over there, it's pretty minimal, um, so it's actually ground turkey. We don't want ground turkey, we want ground beef. So I'm gonna have to go to a grocery store and get that, but they do have the cheddar cheese, and this is new, this is thick cut, so I, I kinda like that, and it's on sale, it's two for seven. So I'm gonna give this a shot and get this uh, sharp cheddar and put that on top of our chili. The kids are kinda hungry now, so I'm going to get some sliced meat. And we're just gonna make some sandwiches when we get back to the house. Let me get some cheddar slices for the sandwiches. I have croissants from Costco, so we can use that. So this is gonna be your, your after school snack, okay? I'm just gonna make you sandwiches. <laughs> yes, everybody's starving. I am too. My daughter found her favorite mint chocolate chip ice cream. Remember we found this in Costco and then they stopped selling it? Same thing with the bubble tea. I wonder if they're gonna start selling in the grocery stores then. All right, you can put that in the cart. My kids are sneaky. They already put this drumstick ice cream here. And what? And ice cream sandwiches? You guys. When you go for groceries, don't bring your kids. You're gonna save money when you don't bring your kids. I hear this Rattel is pretty good. I've never used it and we're gonna make um, chili today. So I think this would be the perfect time to go ahead and give this a try. I watch a couple of, of other mamas on YouTube and they use this and they seem to like it. So diced tomatoes and green chilies, we'll get, maybe we'll get three of them because we are gonna make a big pot of chili. I usually buy more than I need. I'd rather have more than less. And since we're a big family, I'm probably gonna get six cans of this diced hotel. I'm passing by all the lotions. I smelled something really good. And it's these bath bombs. It's lavender cloud. Oh my gosh. This is a nice gift idea too. $15 though for four of these. No, for six of these. It smells so good. This is another nice scent. It's bergamot cedar. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> I'm gonna give a hint to my husband that I want one of these. I'm gonna give him a list actually of what to buy for me so he can just pick and choose. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Anybody need some holiday socks? 15 days of socks. This is a Harry Potter. Oh, it doesn't show you in the back how it looks like. Can you open it? They should have had a, an access here and just put like a magnet so you can at least see what the sock looks like. Can you tell daddy to buy me some makeup? Maybe you can go with him. It could be a lipstick, a lip gloss, you're not a nail polish. Yeah, polish. because I'm shopping for everybody else, but who's shopping for me? Now this is a really a cute gift idea. You have five different perfume bottles, little mini spray bottles. And then if you want to know the scents, they have some samples over here. You can go ahead and smell them. Looks like these have five different kinds. I had to quickly stop by Stop and Shop. I have the ground beef. They didn't have ground beef in Target and I didn't want ground turkey, so 
This was uh, $4.99 for 90% lean. So that was a good deal. If I had a cart on me, I would have gotten all that they had, but I was just carrying them. And then um, this was a little pricey. I had celery in Target, but I ended up putting that away. It was like over $3 for a pack. This was two or buy one, get one free. So it ended up being $2 each. And it's not the best price, but it's you know better than Target. And then I decided to get just um, regular diced, actually no, fire roasted diced tomatoes and add it to our chili. And then we got our tomato paste. Finally using my camera to end my vlog, but this is the chili we made for dinner. My son added um, ground beef, onion, garlic, celery, and cumin. A little bit of actually spaghetti sauce because uh, we didn't have uh, enough tomatoes. We didn't use a Rattel, we actually ended up using the fire roasted tomatoes and tomato paste, right? I think that was it pretty much. Cayenne so, powder. Oh, and ch chili powder and cayenne powder as well. And we also added kidney beans, though I was asking him if we can add black beans, but um, we're all hungry, so we're just going to eat it like this, and then we're going to top it off with this farm-style cut thick cheese. We can let the cheese melt right on top. Wow. Not bad for a homemade chili. How does it taste, Jeff? It's not exactly like Wendy's, but close enough, right? Looks good. Okay. I'm going to end the vlog now. It's getting pretty late. The kids are hungry. I have to make sure they're ready for tomorrow. So we had a pretty long, I guess, after school day. Target, you know, Target does take time. Filming does take time. But, you know, we all enjoyed it and we had a pretty good meal at the end. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. We got hungry kids. You guys enjoying the dinner? How was it, Camille? You enjoying the dinner? Yeah. It's pretty good? Mm-hmm.